Is that your t-shirt? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got no statements, please. What does this win, what does this win mean to you, Coach? It's a good win. You know, we went through so much. I mean, <clears throat> it was like a, it was almost cathartic, you know, to be honest with you. It was like 26 months just unleashed there in the last four or five seconds. So, proud of these guys, you know. Again, I think, uh, you know, you guys know, you guys watched this grow. You know, we couldn't handle this setting a year ago. We started it catch on a little bit by the time we got to Florida State and then we played better against uh, Virginia Tech and obviously because of the intensity of this one this one's a, a you know a level higher you know uh, early in the year so real proud of the way the guys uh, fought it was nothing easy on that field for either team and uh, good hard-nosed football game physical and uh, just real proud of our guys uh, mental toughness and conditioning and resiliency. Uh, what does it say about your, uh, your defense? Just the turnovers, their tenacity. You know, I think, you know, I mean, I, I, I've been saying it for, you know, since the spring. I think they've grown up, you know, playing so many young guys a year ago. At places you can't play young guys, you know that. We're so much stronger and bigger up front. You know, our linebackers are all 20 pounds heavier. The secondary doesn't really miss rotations anymore like last year, so there's no blown, you know, gaps. You know, of course they make good runs. The floor is good. Running backs are good. The line is good. Of course they make a good run in there and everything, but... You know, they settled down in the red zone. They made a, a, a short yard stop, took the ball away a couple times. So, again, it says a lot. It says a lot about Coach D and the game plan that he put together. And uh, and really the whole defense, the whole defense had a game ball. What's that moment mean to you, Al? I mean, I know it's about team and process and building, but I don't remember you sprinting 53 yards to go shake a hand before the play yeah. like that. Well, again, I was, I was excited. You know, I'm not going to. You know, I get, you guys know me, I, I, I don't really hide my emotions, but again, I just, um, I wanted our guys to celebrate it, so uh, that had really nothing to do with anything else other than running over there and being, uh, you know, classy and being courteous, and then, but, but I did want the kids, I did want the kids in that end zone, because I wanted them to thank all those people that stood by us, you know, all those guys that no matter what, you know, they're there, and, uh, and they stood with us, and uh, so it was, uh, it was a good moment for our guys. Coach, after they scored, uh, and they went for a two-point conversion. You seen the, you seen the seed coming. We did. We had a uh, we had a call. That we practiced, and uh, you know you got the right guys out there. Um, Jimmy Gaines, Denzel Perryman got us lined up. Uh, I, what was it uh, Casey that made the tackle? Made the tackle. Um, but it didn't matter because we matched it well. They threw it out there, and uh, we uh, <clears throat> we were prepared again. That's a you know. We worked on it last year before North Carolina, too, but we didn't get lined up. You know what I'm saying? And it's just a sign of our maturity. And uh, last year, North Carolina, you know, they go in and it ended up being a big play in the game. You know, if you guys remember. And then, and, and then uh, today, guys line up and put it to bed. You know, and that ended up being a big, big, uh, big stop. Al, you talked about wanting to see something out of Denzel Perryman. What he did today, he was everywhere for you. He was. I mean, he's in great condition. You know, he's 240 and he's in great condition. You know, our team's in great Condition, we're mental, we're mentally tough. Uh, was it all perfect down the stretch? No, but there, there's nobody laying around. Uh, you know, you know, especially the defense. You know, they, you know, they did a great job of trying to wear us down. And our defense was in great shape, and they played hard, and they finished. And uh, again, uh, and, and I think you can ask Denzel, but the one thing that's different about Denzel Perryman right now is the habits that he's forming every day by how he's finishing and how he's practicing, and it's. Uh, and it's carrying over to the game. It really is. I, and I hope he's a believer now. I hope he understands, uh, you know, that it is important. Now, you said the last four or five seconds cathartic. I assume that includes you, your sprint there. What, what was going through your mind in that period when you say cathartic? I don't know. Like I said, man, it's just been such a hard road. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, we've just been battling this thing. And uh, obviously, they're, they're one of the teams we've been battling during this thing. <laughs> I don't have to... You know, I think you guys could figure that out. And uh, it was just a very cathartic moment. It was a very, you know, it was a great moment for our guys. All those guys that not only chose the University of Miami during this, but stood there and uh, and, and fought. And, and again, guys, we have such a long way to go. Now, I can't say that enough. We have such a long way to go to be a, be that kind of program. Big win, yes. Program, yet, no. Uh, we got to get back to work and get better and be mature and go about our business every day. But uh, I guess that's what was running through my mind, just how proud I was for all those guys that bought into what we've been doing and 
and uh, they deserve to win this win. They deserve victory. Now, can you talk about the Tariq force, you know, the sack force bubble, yeah, it's big. And, and also Tracy's uh, They're big. I mean, they're all, they're, all, they're all big plays, you know. I mean, uh, what do we end up with, four turnovers? Five. Five, you know, I mean, five. So, again, uh, that's big. Uh, guys are where they're supposed to be. You know, Tracy's where he's supposed to be now. You know, Tyreek comes comes around on, on the game and he's free, you know, and and then do you trust them to go ahead and make the play, finish the play? They're good enough to do it. Uh, a year ago, maybe that would have been a sack, but it would have been a sack fumble. And it's the same thing with Tracy. Maybe he would have got a, a PBU, uh, but he was in great position and he's mature. He's studying the patterns that they're getting. He got a good break on it and, uh, you know, I'm happy for those guys. Al, what's your takeaway in the offense today? Uh, it was a war. It was a war. I'm not going to make any excuses. You know, we have to be better. We, again, our play count was so low at, at halftime because we, we didn't convert on, on fourth down. But again, give them credit. They're good. They're good. That's a good defense. You know, and, and they didn't give us anything. You know, our guys fought and scratched and clawed. And sometimes you gotta, sometimes you got to win, win like that. And uh, they did. They had the guts to win like that, which was important. I know the, the Gators defense obviously was good and probably did some things, but Steven, again, at times looked like he was on a different page with couple of receivers that's something still you have to work on or? oh yeah I mean we're gonna definitely work on it but again I I just want I didn't want them to enjoy this because we did what we had to do to win you know we'll, we'll worry about the stats and completions and all that tomorrow in the routes and everything and we'll get that fixed we'll make a commitment to get that fixed here in the bye week I just want them to enjoy this tonight it'll be really I mean that was a tough tough game and again give them credit man they, they were deep on defense they rotated a lot of guys and uh you know they 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 came off the ball, played low, disrupted a lot of uh, runs, but we did we did have patience, you know, except for the one third and, and long that we could have made a better decision. But other than that, we really displayed patience as an office, on, offensive staff and really believed in the defense. Maybe for the first time in a while, we believed in the defense. We, we didn't feel like we had to, you know, just air it out and be three and out and, or, or get get an incomplete or excuse me, an interception or a sack fumble or something. We really just were patient with the run. Now, tomorrow, you guys will be you guys will be in the bowl tomorrow, undoubtedly. You had a full building today. You beat Florida. How huge a building block do you anticipate this moment maybe being? Well, again, it's just, uh, uh, again, Tim, I, I look at it differently. I know you guys, it's a big game. I mean, obviously, we all know it's a big game. I'm not going to I'm not gonna dis dismiss that. But it, it's, in terms of building our program, we, we got to get back to work. You know, we're, 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 there's so many things we have to fix yet to be a really good football team. And we just got to, we got to be humble and hungry, get back to work. Uh, you know, get strong this week. Uh, get some of the younger guys caught up. Get them ready, uh, and then, uh, and then, you know, and then, then get back into game week next week. But it's good. So it couldn't come at a better time because this was a physical, this is a tough, really tough game. Coach, Coach on a day, last one, last one. Coach, you guys were incredibly mature today, especially on defense when they were almost mixing it up on the field. Did you see something during the week where you felt like you might have a different team coming in? No, no, I knew that. I mean, I, I think I've been saying it uh, all along that that we are different. And we're, we're physically different, not just mentally different, we're physically different, we're more mature. Again, we're not a finished product. We gotta go back to work. There's a lot of things we gotta fix and certainly let them have a quick score there. You know, uh, we all know we can't we can't do that as Tracy's over here hiding from me, but uh, we can't let them do that. But we'll get back to work on that tomorrow. I mean, I'm just, I'm just proud of the guys and, and uh, happy that we uh, came out with a hard fought win. Okay, thanks guys. You guys want